Hello dear students, now we will learn part B that is to study the effect of atropine on CRC of acetylcholine. So, regarding atropine, it is a antagonist of acetylcholine and acetylcholine it releases from the synaptic vesicles and binds on the nicotinic receptor or cholinergic receptors or muscarinic receptors and opens the sodium channels. So, due to entry of sodium inside the cell is causes depolarization. Then depolarization is responsible for entry of calcium and as well as release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So, like that the calcium concentration was increases in the muscle cells. So, increase the calcium concentration it can cause the skeletal muscle contraction. After administration of atropine, so atropine it can reacts on the acetylcholine receptors. So, then the acetylcholine is failed to bind on the acetylcholine receptors like nicotinic and muscarinic. So, due to lack of binding it can inhibit the opening of sodium channels then it can inhibit the depolarization and release of calcium and entry of calcium. So, like that atropine it can antagonize the activity of acetylcholine on nicotinic cholinergic as well as the muscarinic cholinergic receptors. So, aim of this practical is to study the effect of atropine on DRC of acetylcholine using rat elum. So, requirement animal rat elum drugs like acetylcholine stock solution 1 mg per ml, atropine sulfate stock solution 1 mg per ml and physiological salt solution is a tired solution. So, anesthetize the rat and isolate the rat elum as described in the below video. So, dear students, so one hand put on the rabbit, uh, the, sorry rat head and another uh, hold the tail and pull the tail in down, it can causes the dislocations of spinal cord. So, due to dislocations of spinal cord, so rat can be anesthetized. So, you can see in the video. So, after this, Prepare the animal for to cut the abdominal cavity by putting on a back on operation board. So then with the help of the surgical scissors and forceps to cut the skin above the abdominal cavity. also to cut the muscles that is abdominus muscle that is cutting the, the thoracic cavity to smooth helpful for to so smoothly remove the GIT tract outside the animal body. 
are from the abdominal cavity. So this is the stomach. So this one is the ileocecal junction, the junction between the small intestine and large intestine. So just the above the ileocecal junction, that is the locations of ilum, and just below the junction of uh, stomach, that is the duodenum, and between duodenum and ilum, that is the uh, locations of the jejunum. from ileocecal junction you can cut so that is the start of the that is, that is the end of the ilum from the above that is all part is a ilum just above the ilum that is the jejunum and above the jejunum that is the duodenum so the one third of the small intestine that is the ilum so that is why we are cutting the lower part are above the ileocecal junctions. So then, so making the. So after this, 
set up the instrument argon bath as described in the expert number 5 then the temperature of student argon bath is maintained about 35 degrees centigrade so this is the typical student argon bath so where the tissue can be isolated and keep ready for the to conduct the experiments so next record the dose response curve of acetylcholine using at least four doses first record baseline without any drug for 30 second after that administered 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution from the stock solutions and record the responses by addition of 0.1 ml acetylcholine solution for 30 seconds so after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the ringer solution at least two to three times it, it is helpful for to remove the drug from the solution then the tissue is relaxed and it came to its real positions or original position so after washing period once again record the baseline for 30 second so after 30 second add 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution for 30 second once again after 30 second stop the drum and change the solution then after changing the tired solution the tissue can came to its original position so after washing period once again record baseline then take the response by additions of 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution for 30 second after 30 second stop the drum and change the tired solution and after washing period once again record the baseline without any drug for 30 second then add 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the responses due to additions of 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solution uh, for 30 second so after 30 second store the, stop the drum and change the tired solution so this is the drc of acetylcholine alone without any atropines so after add atropine 2 microgram per ml to the reservoir containing tired solution and irrigate the tissue with atropine ringer for 30 minutes so repeat the concentration response curve of acetylcholine in the presence of atropine so here the dose of acetylcholine is similar the previously used only you can once again recheck the activity of acetylcholine in the presence of the atropines so after 30 minute irrigation with atropines and record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the response of additions of 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution in the presence of atropine for 30 second so after 30 second wash the tissue by removing the tired solution then after washing period once again record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution and record responses of 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution in the presence of atropine for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and once again change the ringer solution then after washing period record the baseline then add 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution in presence of atropine for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the tired solution so after washing period once again record the baseline for 30 second and add that is 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solutions and record the response due to additions of 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solution in presence of atropine for 30 seconds so after 30 second wash the tissues and once again record the baseline this, this is known as the drc of acetylcholine in the presence of atropine in ringer solution so after this so measure the height of the responses in mm both drc that is the 
DRCF acetylcholine and DRCF acetylcholine in the presence of atropine. So, first, so 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution responses is 23 mm, then 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution responses is 34 mm, then 0.8 responses is 50 and sorry 0.4, then 0.8 is 68. So, then height of 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solution in presence of atropine is 17 and regarding 0.2 ml in presence of atropine is 24 mm, then 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution in presence of atropine is 37 and like that 0.8 response in presence of atropine is 47 mm. So, then after measuring the responses in mm, then calculate dose of acetylcholine mg then as well as to calculate the percentage of the responses in both cases. So, regarding the calculations of dose of acetylcholine mg is calculated as 1 ml of stock solution of acetylcholine contains 1 mg then 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solutions contain how much that is 0.1 containing 0.1 mg, 0.2 containing 0.2 mg, 0.4 containing 0.2 4 mg, 0.8 containing 0.8 mg. Regarding calculations of percentage of response, any highest response in mm from the acetylcholine alone responses is considered as the 100 percent for both cases that is the DRCF acetylcholine without atropine and DRCF acetylcholine with atropine. So, the highest responses from acetylcholine alone, so that was considered as a 100 percent. So, like that 68 mm is considered as 100 percent, then 23 is how much? That is, we got 33.82 for 34 mm, 50 percent for 50 mm, 73.52. Regarding acetylcholine plus atropine responses, that is 17 mm is 25, 24 mm is 35.29 percent, 37 mm is 54.41 percent, then 47 mm is 69.11 percent. So, this is the graph. So, red line indicates the response of acetylcholine in absence of atropine and purple color indicates the response of acetylcholine in presence of atropine. So, from the table and graph, it concludes that physostigmine increases activity while atropine is decreased activity of acetylcholine and here hence atropine is antagonist of acetylcholine. So, these are references we are used for to prepare the, this practical. So, whatever the data are taken for demo purpose only, they do not have any relation to real research data. Thank you.